Kia ora, Legionnaires, Rikon here, and welcome back to Dust. We are here with Elliot the Wendigo Woods. It is our first night in the wasteland, and we are still far from safe. There are fiends, tribal folk throughout this area, and we discovered some unusually sized ants in the last episode. Ants that I'm hoping have collected some food as we are starting to get hungry and, well, that uncooked ant flesh is starting to look all the more tasty. There was an ant mound nearby that I am wanting to potentially have a look into. We'd have to do that with great caution though. And so with that, let's get ready to dive on in. Now I have actually added or changed a few mods since the first episode. You can see that we now have the enhanced camera so we can actually see our body beneath us. And we are running with a new ENB. We don't seem to be having the same issues as we were in the past. And this one is meant to be, uh, well, set up with <laughs> dust. So we might notice some more weather effects when we are outside. <sighs> We've also got one that's meant to fix the detection range of tunnelers. We'll see whether or not that comes into play. Hopefully, you know, we won't have to deal with any of them. Before we get started though, let's just have a quick look at, well, <laughs> the fact that we're overweight, unfortunately. Yes, hmm, let's see, our H2O is close to being over its little limit again. Our food is up there. We're actually near the point of our secondary stage of hunger and we're starting to get a little sleepy. Sleep is easy enough for us to kind of rectify. We can do that. We are still a ways before we get to level two. It seems like it's a long way away. So I think we're gonna have to start taking a few risks. Yeah, unfortunately so. Jumping into our items, we are carrying around this fire ant meat. We can see that it's going to give us plus 19 rads, but it's going to give us a little bit of hunger back. It looks like it is also going to minus our strength for a while, and I'm thinking that's probably because of the fact that it's, uh, yeah, it's kind of raw meat. We can offset that with the ant nectar. The question of how long each one lasts, I'm not sure. 19 rads isn't terrible if we jump in and, uh, yeah, a few of those could get us close to being back to a good place. I wouldn't mind it if it was possible, so let's go ahead and take some of those. Let's just quickly check that. Yeah, we've got 26 at the moment, so it would be a bit of an increase, to say the least, but when we've been drinking wine, that does actually bring some of our um, rads down, and we've been using, or rather drinking wine to hydrate ourselves at the moment, so <laughs> there's that. All right, so I don't know if it's going to stack each time with the minus strength, but we'll go ahead and eat the first one. Delicious. Wonderful. Let's have the ant nectar and see if it kind of, uh, yep, it does offset it. Okay, it doesn't seem to add multiple times. That's okay, we're right with that. Our radiation is at 83 and our food is getting closer to where it was before. We didn't have access to other types of ant meat in here, so I think we're probably just gonna have to have a look at that. Yeah, okay, we'll see about, uh, grabbing that. We'll have some wine at the same time, which I think is actually helping us out with our sanity as well. And I think we can see our sanity somewhere. I imagine it is under... Hmm. Where are you going to be? General? No. It must be a status effect. I know it's around somewhere, and I can't remember exactly where it is meant to be. But, uh, yeah, we're meant to be able to, to spy on our stamina. Our reputation, of course. Right. Well, we are sane. Apparently good for now. <laughs> I don't know how long that's gonna last for us, but... Well, here we are. So, let's have a look. You, giant worker ant. <laughs> there we go, I did it, I did the lean. Fantastic. All right, good. We're just gonna have to eat some more raw ant meat for now. As uh, 
har horrible as that might sound, it is going to uh, allow us to be full. <laughs> A nice feeling. Yeah. Let's, uh, let's do this thing. Mmm, delicious. We feel less hungry. We're no longer hungry. We're gonna go all the way here, though. Yeah, and I know that is a fair bit of rads, but I'm thinking we're gonna slowly be able to get that down over time. Let's just check in our food. Fan friggin' tastic. We could probably have another drink as well, but I think we're gonna we're gonna hold off that for now. Yeah, we still got some more ant nectar. If we need a little bit more carrying capacity, we'll be good there. So, outside. It's what we're after. And we'll just double check our weapons as we get ready to go. We're good, I think. We'll keep this at the ready. We'll turn off our uh, light source and we'll head out into the waste. So we have two options. We can go towards the ant hill or we could go into the other building when we first saw those ants. If we're quick when we go through the door, we might be able to take them out entirely. And well, yeah, this is what we're looking at for now. It is, <laughs> we don't have a huge amount of sight. <laughs> Not much at all. We do know the area a little bit. And I gotta admit, this is somewhat concerning. Because we definitely saw people down this way. I imagine this might help us out a bit as well. Yeah. I know it doesn't look great against the sky. I don't know why the sky is as clear as it is. I think it is meant to be kind of blanketed out as well. It might be something I will have to look into here. But I believe we're safe. Oh, okay, thank, thank you. <laughs> well, <laughs> we've discovered the boulevard. And I think we've actually discovered something else here. Ammunition. Okay. Good. Magnum round. And it's just a single round. Ooh. Ooh, okay. Wow. 50 22 caliber rounds. Okay, if we can find a 22 rifle, like a, like a varmint rifle or something like that. That'd be very nice, thank you. Yeah. Just make our way back on over. I am assuming that our sight might be better during the during the day. I, the atmospheric sounds do <laughs> work very well for me in setting the atmosphere. A, a, as for this, I am going to see if I can fix this. This might be something that I can do this episode, in fact. Okay. Well, this was our building here, I think. Easy. Yeah, so we took down our friend over here. And I can't remember if it was this one or back here. I thought it was this one, but maybe I am incorrect in thinking that. No, I think we're incorrect. Okay, well, I guess we're heading back, huh? We are going to stay sneaking because I think to do anything else will be not such a great idea right now. Yeah, stay to the path that we've kind of walked so far. I didn't check you out. Damn, nice. Eight rads from the sarsaparilla. Okay, all right. We'll keep it in our inventory for now. I think we are going to have that, uh, <laughs> that not so delicate dance with radiation throughout this playthrough. Oh, and the ant nectar has worn off, and the wine has worn off simultaneously, both throwing us into a pit of despair. <laughs> so why is our strength still so low? Or rather, maybe this is just where our strength is at at the moment. 
Oh, the ant meat, of course. It, it is kind of stacking. Okay, so we are going to have to have more of the ant nectar just for now to kind of see us through. The ant meat does have a longer lasting effect. And I guess it's because we ate it more recently. Well, we might be eating some more. Allied technologies. Holy shit. Oh, come on, you've got to be kidding me. What the hell are you doing here? That's not a great chance to hit. Uh, we have to take the shot ourselves. Okay. You thought you could hide from me. <sighs> oh, you did hit us. Oh, crap. Okay. Holy crap. Okay, quick status check. How are we looking? Um, I want to see our condition for limbs. Perfectly fine. But we got hit pretty damn hard. Okay. Alright. Don't think we want a stim pack here. This is where a bandage could be really nice or something. You know what? We might not have any choice. You know what? I'm thinking maybe sleeping outside might be an okay idea before we try and go in. Even if it is just for an hour. Where the hell did you come from? Yeah, um... <laughs> uh, something that I didn't realize about these is that they are automatic use, but I think they're only automatic on if we get poisoned. Yeah, bleeding isn't going to be a thing. <sighs> Even so, they had a weapon. The question is, what weapon did you have? Okay. Cloud Kiss. It is lethal. Okay. So, one of the reasons... Ah, another makeshift rifle. Crap. I, we did have another makeshift rifle for a while. Then <laughs> what did we do with it, though? Yeah. What did we do with it? Because we could... We could repair that. I'm going to take the uh, rounds. Marked tribal armor. Gives strength... That's kind of tempting, huh? I mean, the, uh... The DT isn't as good. Can we afford to take this rifle right this second? No, we can't. I mean, we'll take it and we'll... Oh, we can. Mm, but we are going to run into an issue with our strength. We'll get it back in a second, though. Also, nice. Yeah, where did we drop down that other rifle, huh? Ooh. I... I think... Cause, or rather, maybe we just didn't pick it up. It was on you. You just kind of came out of the... Out of the fog there. Freaking terrifying. Old Legion armor, so we definitely picked it up from here. God damn me for not remembering... <laughs> You've just got your pool cue, huh? Yup. Well, from memory, if memory serves me correctly, <laughs> we went along here and then to the next location. Maybe, just maybe, we dropped it back there. Honestly, I think it's worth us going back for, because if we can repair that rifle, we'll be looking okay. I imagine the makeshift rifle is something that we're going to encounter more than just once. And I would also hope that I wouldn't be the kind of person that would just drop a rifle out here. I tell you what, Elliot definitely doesn't feel like the Wendigo right now. <laughs> Very far from it. I also don't like walking around with low health. Okay. Well, we're nearly at the building. Let's just check you. A shot glass. Sure. Alright. Yeah, that's not what we came through. It was down this way. I do like the how much more atmospheric this uh, becomes. We feel thirsty. 
Okay, well, let's see. What's going to be best for us to drink? Probably the wine over that, because this gets rid of rads. That gives us rads. So, yeah, let's be drinking some wine. Let's be losing some rads at the same time. And restoring our sanity, because we did just kill another person. Okay. Yeah, who knows? Maybe we did make it in here with the rifle. And I know we're back where we started today's episode off, but, you know, this is just how things are sometimes. Alright, let's start having a bit of a search around again. There is a Nuka-Cola in here, which I am tempted to take, because, yeah, it gives us rads, but nowhere near as much. And it actually, well, it wakes us up a little bit. Just empty bottles? Okay. I'm sure we will need more empty bottles in the future, but... Right now, not something that concerns me. Yeah, you would imagine that I'd be able to remember exactly where I dropped it off, but it's been a week. <laughs> These things happen. So let's make it fast if we can. Right. Okay. Hi there, big old soldier ant. Not in here, huh? Could get some roach meat. Possibly. What do you like? 16 rads? Yeah. And the whole minus strength as well. That definitely comes from, uh, okay, yeah. We're gonna need some more. Are we still under the effects of the ant meat? We are. Okay, so one more thing of nectar, and unfortunately this is a bit of a waste with the nectar, but... Okay, day tripper, use addictive chems. I, yeah, I suppose it makes sense that we could get addicted to ant nectar. Maybe not one of the best things we could. I've just kind of realized we don't really need to be sneaking around in here. Ah, uh, so there were some kind of transparency issues in the last episode, it would seem, but I think we've made our way around that. I'd like to be able to come back here when we can lockpick too. Well, I don't know what to tell you. I don't know what to tell you. That, the one that we attacked in the last definitely had a makeshift rifle on them. I just don't know what the hell we did with it. Yeah. And, well, Elliot isn't the most, uh, well, I mean, mechanically he's sane right now, but, you know. He can't exactly remember how he got here in the first place, so... There's that. Yeah, I know we more than likely dropped off a whole heap of things on the way to here. You know what? I reckon it's up by the uh, ant mount, which makes me very nervous because... I think that's going to be an okay place for us to sleep. <laughs> Maybe. But that's also where that tribal came from. And right now, what I'm doing is being stingy. And that's maybe not the best thing. We have a stim pack, we could use it right now, but I know we're also potentially going to sleep very soon. We've got two more rounds left in this thing, I think. Let's be certain. One. We've got one, of course, because these are the good rounds. Maybe we should swap out for the bad. Mm, let's see. Uh, we should have three of these still, the junk rounds. We do. Yeah, and they can potentially damage this rifle. We'll go with that. I probably took too long with that first shot as well. I should have been a little bit more ruthless. Hating slash loving these sound effects. The ant meat has worn off. Fantastic. So our th strength should shoot up. I guess they were just kind of working with each other. Yeah, so we might still be a little bit over. Alcohol is giving us plus one strength and nectar is giving us plus four. Yeah. Probably still carrying too much. <laughs> and we've actually got, you know, really good strength. Oh, what we'd do for a backpack. Oh boy. Really not super happy about coming back here. 
especially after that one just wandered out towards us. The wine's worn off. We're okay. I don't think those... I don't think that's stacking. No, it doesn't seem to. The plus one to strength. Okay. Let's make our way in and up the top. There's the ant meat that we dropped off, so we've still got more of it. And obviously, we can enter the ant mound. But these were fire ants. And while we can run up and attack the hell out of the other ants, potentially in their other building, don't feel super great about it. Okay, so here we are. Did we drop off the rifle up here somewhere? Not sure. Hi. Did I, did I not open this? No, I didn't. There was freaking ammunition in there. And I didn't open it. Well, <laughs> unfortunately, I can't tell you what happened to that. <laughs> it's that rifle. We've got just a knife in here, and I think I had a look at that as well. Yeah. I tell you what, we are going to try to sleep here. We're thirsty for now. And I don't know how that's going to work out for us. But we're going to grab our bed roll kit. Close the pit boy to start sleeping. Sure. It's going to be fine, right? Yeah. Alright, how long would we like to sleep? Well, I guess it would be nice to sleep until the day. If we wake up in the day and the sky is still the same, I'm going to jump out of game and jump back in and see how that works out for us. But... I, I also don't think we need to sleep the whole duration. Yeah. Maybe we just sleep for two hours at the moment. It'll take us to 340. How, how do we feel after that? We feel less tired. We are no longer tired. Okay. Let's just jump in, see how we're looking. Minor dehydration, minor starvation. Okay, so we definitely do still get hungry while we're sleeping, even though we're not using energy. That's a bit on the nose. My, okay, it's not going to kill us, but yeah, the minus to the strength is frustrating because <laughs> we're pretty much always going to be around that level. Also, we're quite close to a threshold here with our rads. Also not great. Let's go drink some wine, which is going to get rid of some of those rads but really not all that much and then we need to worry about food and we haven't gained any HP back so I tell you what it looks like we're gonna have to try and sleep the whole night through I do want to be cautious with doing that though because I, I am aware that we probably will get hungrier our sleep's fine so maybe we do just I, I hate I hate to say it, maybe we do just use the uh, stim pack for now so that we can stay up and stay active. I guess we might have to. We've got right away. <laughs> I don't know. Minus seven for 10 seconds. I feel like it'd probably be beneficial for us to just eat a whole heap of things and then use that. We don't have much that'll offset the ant meat though. And we do need to eat that ant meat, unfortunately. Hmm, we're already playing that delicate balance. <sighs> as much as I hate it. Hmm. Yeah, not great, not great. Tell you what, we're gonna get rid of the sarsaparilla for now because we've still got some more wine, which is okay. Honestly, like a lot more. I'm trying to think about how we'd go into this next area. It's honestly, I think it's just going to be machete smashing them. This ant nectar is quite heavy as well. You know what? We're going to drop this. We're going to leave that there for now. I think we're going to have to have this ant meat. Fire ant meat. I think it'll only affect us once. But yeah, more rads. Yep. I know. 
puts us towards that threshold. Radiation level, minor rad. Poison gives us a minus to endurance, so it's going to drop our HP down. The amount of dehydration will do the same thing. Well, we know that we can kind of semi-offset that, so that it'll start dropping back down. We're getting a plus from our alcohol, plus from the fire ant meat, so we're going to be stuck where we were. Okay, that's good for now. <laughs> Radiation poisoning. That's, that's okay. That is going to start to go down, as we can see. We're actually getting a little bit of HP back from eating food, too, so yay. That's nice. <laughs> All right, we don't have much choice but to stay on the move for now. And staying in this area might not be the right choice, but we're gonna stick with it. For better or for worse, we've already had to take another life. And well, we're gonna have to fight some ants. And if we're not better healed before we go in, we are gonna be taking that stim pack Hi there again. All right. Great noises. Ah, there's a bed inside there that we could sleep in. That's a more responsible place to sleep, huh? Okay. We are still healing. I think I might just try and wait it out. I'm not sure how long that's going to last for, the healing effects of the fire ant meat. We'll just let it keep on ticking for a little while. <sighs> you still going? I'll tell you what, I'm going to wait a moment. I don't think it's going to give us any more than this, and I don't know if that's enough in there. We can't take a chance though. As much as I want to keep this, I don't think we can afford to. And you know what? We're going to go in while it's still healing us. Oh, it's worn off. Okay. <laughs> My bravado is gone. We're just going to be fast. Here we go. From behind. Yes. Okay. That's what we want. Critical strikes. Crippling heads. Ah. Ah. Oh, I hate it. They sound like they're everywhere. Okay, no, I think we're okay. <laughs> we can see that we're suffering from H2O, or we were for a second there. Ah, oh, boy. Any any nectar for me? Huh? Huh? Got ant meat. Love that ant meat. Okay. It's just... I think we can actually maybe sneak attack you here. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Okay. So we can get some strong hits there. <laughs> and I think if we hit strong enough, we can send them reeling backwards like that. So it's a damn good thing that our strength is as good as it is. All right, Mr. Wood. Let's see what we have in here. And I am gonna have to be a little bit faster with my looting because, um, well, time is uh, of the essence always. Fixer, what are you gonna do for us? Are you gonna fix me? Okay, let's see Coldplay, what can you do? Ooh. Temporary addiction removal, okay. I feel like we're gonna have more than a few addictions, so that's good. A single round, very, very nice. I actually do like finding just like those singular bits of ammunition like that. We'll take those uh, star bottle caps. Oh, hi there, someone had a, uh, a bit of a habit. I guess maybe that's why we had some fixer on the other one. Uh, let's just keep on moving, Elliot. <laughs> Everything's fine. Everything's okay. I mean, look at us. We're already doing better than we were in the last episode, huh? All right, I'm going to check on that H2O. Because we can drink some more wine. Let's just see. Yeah, we are over that threshold. Sure. Let's go ahead, drink some wine. Knock back that good stuff. And at the same time, we should be seeing our radiation drop off further and further. Yeah, I mean, not by too much, but we're kind of getting there. If it becomes a serious issue, we'll think about the right away. But for now, we're just going to continue. Okay, I tell you what, I want to be moving fast here, so we are going to go in running. 
to start swinging for that head. And thankfully this thing attacks really fast, but... Oh, it was frenzied. Um, what you might notice, I think it's because we destroyed the antenna. Uh, the condition of this weapon is getting very, very low. Oh, we're, th we're thirsty already. I tell you what, we are going to have to fix the rate at that we're getting this because this is... I feel like we'd be babysitting this way too much. And it might be that it's just the time is moving too quickly. But drinking as much wine <laughs> as we are... <laughs> and I know wine isn't hydrating, but... Statistically in this, working off the mechanics, it is, but... Uh, yeah, I don't know. We, I, I just don't think we can sustain that kind of gameplay. <laughs> uh, Ant Nectar, you are nice and light. We will take you. Okay. Well, we're yet to be hit by any of these things, and I think that's probably one of the reasons why we're doing okay here. Okay. Oh, yep, you're coming for us. But you can't open doors though, huh? Oh, you're all the way over there? Yeah, I see you. Oh! Okay. Good work, buddy. Good work. Yeah, this blade is gonna break any second now. Oh, I go out on a stick. Thank you. Alright, let's get loosing in here. We're gonna close this door. See what we've got. Uh, a broken terminal, which we can actually have a look at. What do we have here? Ah, check all cords. Of course, of course. We've got a pencil. Empty garbage can, okay. Hmm. Are we okay? I don't hear any other forms of skittering. Ah, uh, Tales of Chivalry, sure. It's a magazine. It could help us for a moment. Ooh. I doubt that's ever going to be useful, but, you know. Sure, we'll take a book to read. We've got some Nuka-Cola in here. This just sucks that it gives us rads. Yeah, I mean, everything's going to give us rads, right? I guess that's just, that's how it is. It does give us HP back, though. Okay, we're going we're gonna to make sure that we hold on to some Nuka here. And by some, I mean as much as we possibly can. <laughs> Yeah, I'm just going to have to uh, do some of that sweet, sweet inventory management. You know how it goes. And Nectar, yes please. That's got us kind of topped off, huh? Alright. Anything good in the desk? Some bottle caps, of course. And is this another book? No, just a large scorched book. Some bottle caps, okay. And what do we have here? Some more bottle caps and some pre-war money. Really don't think this could be useful to us. It doesn't weigh anything though, so... I mean, maybe, huh? Let's make sure... Yeah, we're still leaning just fine. <laughs> How does it affect our... Oh, it actually does kind of work with that. Activate the broken terminal. Fantastic. Riveting. Okay, well, <laughs> that's all that we have in this place. I was really hoping for a little bit more, but... Ooh, that is good. We are nearing a level up. Ah, <sighs> that's something. <laughs> Let's go ahead and have a read of that. Our bar skill has increased by three. And we can see that this gives us a lot more in the way of food. It does give us some rads. And you know what? I think we could probably have that now. We've got 190 food. This gives us 136. Let's smash back that iguana. Okay. Yeah, 54 food now. And our thirst obviously is on its way back up as well. As one might expect. We can go ahead and knock that back with this giving us more rads at the same time and an empty soda bottle okay let's go for maybe one more nuka and we're gonna go ahead and start dropping some of the extra things that we're holding on to anything that's actually gonna have weight to it like an empty soda bottle just like so the rest of this shouldn't have any weight the duct tape does but it's potentially valuable the surgical tubing can allow us to make a doctor's bag I think I want to hold on to it. I think what I need to try and do is just go through and figure out what we actually need, what we don't, whether this 
bedroll kit is worth it because 10 weight is massive amounts and yes the ability to sleep is cool and all but it's sleeping outside and how often are we going to want to do that i think more often than not we'll go to somewhere specifically to sleep i think that's going to be better for us bedroll kit you're just gonna have to say i'm sorry it's how it is and that gives us a lot more in the way of uh, capability so yeah stay and yes our radiation <laughs> level it has increased very good very good there are other ways for us to potentially uh deal with that in the future and you might say well we wasted that stim back outside i say it gave us the courage to go in here and kill a whole heap of ants so yeah there's that and this place really didn't have anything for us that is uh, a bit more unfortunate now i am probably going to try and see if we can fix the sky <laughs> before the episode continues so we need to kind of try and plan where we're going to go to from here because i think the sun is going to be rising soon i mean we could have a look let's let's do that before i make any decisions we're going to go back to our rifle we're going to pop outside and yeah I don't think it's meant to be so clear. <laughs> so I'll see if I can have a look at some of those settings. Our sleep should be okay, especially after drinking all that nuka. Yeah. And the, the general consensus that I've got from everyone is just stay as far away from New Vegas as possible. So if anything, I think we're going to be going in the opposite direction of where we've been going so far. We could try and go down in through the Ant Mount. We could, I mean, we could peek at the very least, right? Yeah. I mean, that way we don't have to worry about skies. Mm-hmm. Really don't feel so good walking around out here. All right. Start moving faster. That's such a creepy kind of... Yeah, silhouette. This ant just sticking out like that. And you know what? I, I, I feel like if I am going to go out and try and see if I can fix the sky, I'm probably going to try and see what, what happened to this makeshift rifle. But first, we're, we're going to have a very, maybe not so great idea. Oh no, we're okay. I mean, like, we're not immediately overrun okay can we pick you we cannot that is a negative I mean maybe most of the ants were outside huh sure it's just a nice cave Anything down here? Pip boy, you really don't give us too much light, do you? No. Hmm. I don't know if you're noticing any difference, but things feel like a little jittery in this episode. And I'm thinking, I'm wondering if it's due to the enhanced camera mod. Might have to look into that. Oh, we can definitely hear some ant action now. And I think it's coming from down here. Maybe not. Yeah, it looks like it's just a dead end. Okay. Nothing down this way. What do we have up here, Elliot? I'd rather not use a rifle on an ant. But these are fire ants after all. Okay, there's a dead one. Why is there a dead one? I still can't harvest you, can I? Damn it. Do I have to kill you? What's the condition of this blade? 
probably not great. How fast do you think we are? Fast enough to run up behind it and try and slash it? Maybe. Maybe we don't have to be behind it. Let's just be cautious here. Wait until it kind of turns around. Because <clears throat> right now it's not aware of us. Okay. Alright, that's the way we came from. Little bit of XP there. Little bit. Fire ant nectar. Okay, so this, this weighs a lot more than the other type of nectar. So we'll just have to leave that for now. I mean we can we can take it actually. We've got we've got a lot more carrying capacity now. The fire resistance is probably worth us uh it's probably worth us suggesting that if we are likely to come up against some other fire ants down here. Okay. We do have a few explosives we could use. Oh, what the hell are you? Oh, you're a big bad queen, huh? Yeah, you are. I wonder, you probably have some eggs and things down there, huh? Is this the time for us to use an explosive? Probably. It's a big kind of semi-stationary target. We have explosives, why not use them? So we have a multi-blast grenade that does 146. We have this one here that does 53. And the frag grenade that also does 53. The homemade does the same amount. What about the pepper powder bag? Well, I think this is a pepper powder bag. Don't think that's going to help us out all that much. We could also just throw a machete at them. That's an option. I think we're going to go for the homemade frag grenade. Yeah. See how that goes. Okay. Oh, boy. Ah, 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 hate it. Hate that sound. Hey, Ant Queen. How's it going? Going, 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 going good? Yeah, I see you there. Question is, can you see me? Also, do you have a ranged attack? Okay, we've got other ants down there now as well. I wouldn't mind trying to blow their legs off. But also don't know if this is the right time for us to be using these tools. Let's have a look at the tomahawk. We've only got one. Oh, okay. Oh, we've got a pretty good chance to hit the head here. Oh, it's going to do nothing though. Yeah, it's just, this is going to do absolutely nothing to the sand queen. Oh no, that, that looks like it should be like a decent chunk of damage. Here we go. Okay, hit you in the head. Run, run for our life, run for our life. We've got one more. Okay. All right, 93% chance and we probably will cripple the head. Okay, cripple the head. Okay, got a regular fire ant coming for us now. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. I feel like that wasn't a complete waste, but we are gonna have to follow it up though. And so now I'm thinking maybe we use this makeshift rifle. It's in bad condition. But I mean, we might be able to pop it a few times in the head. I'm tempted to take some of that damn nectar though, just in case. Fire ant nectar. It's got a minus our intelligence, but I think that's all right. That extra agility will probably help us out in that. Hey there, dummy. Wanna pop around so I can hit you in the head? I mean like, or am I better off just hitting you in the torso? What's that gonna do for us? Not much by the looks of things. I really want you to be facing me right now. Face me. There we go, that's what we're after. Come on, dummy. Lift that head up out the ground. 
Okay. Yes, I, I know you're a big bad fire ant soldier. Oh, fire ant soldier. That's going to be worse than a worker. A lot worse. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Okay, we've got resistance. We're actually... We're not, we're not really on fire. Not that much. God. Oh god, this is ridiculous. Ah, oh, We don't have a backup weapon. We just broke the machete. This is great. Fantastic. Are we gonna punch an ant to death? Yes, we're gonna punch an ant to death. Are you kidding me? Ah, uh, maybe not, maybe not, maybe not. Come on, Elliot. Elliot. God damn it. Okay. <laughs> Let me explain. <laughs> that probably could have gone better. That freaking fire resistance, though. <laughs> I'm glad we did that when we did. Let's get some HP back. Drink some lovely Nuka Cola. Delicious. Radiation. Love the taste. Mmm. Good stuff. All right, let's go ahead and drop the duct tape because that's exactly what I meant to do, rather than drop the uh, bottle that we just got. Empty soda bottle. There we are. Okay, and uh, we need to finish this thing off. And we probably could run in to do it, but I think we're gonna try and... I, damn it, things degrade in this real fast. <laughs> now I'm starting to understand why this is so difficult. Okay, I mean, it's it's pretty good. We have a, we have a terrible chance to hit, and I, I'm wondering if it's just this rifle. The HP increase from the uh, nukas is really, really good. Hi there, Fire Ant Queen. Hi. Is it an 18% chance to hit the head? I think it is. Okay. Time to run. Time to run. Ow, 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 Okay. All right, you're right in front of me. 53% chance. That's pretty good. We should be able to do that. Also, what about a torso? Honestly, I think, yeah, head is still a little bit more. We'll take a single shot. That's good. Critical strike. Okay, let's go for one more. Okay, let's go for one more. There we go. Well done, Elliot. And is that enough? That is enough to give us a level up. A coveted thing. And the Ant Queen is empty. <laughs> Okay, wow, oh boy, okay, right, so here we are. Now, what do we want to work on? I I wouldn't mind some lockpicks, but as far as our increases are going, I think getting our melee weapons up a bit is probably gonna be worth it. At the same time, I think the, the sooner that we get guns higher, the better. Let's get that to 50. We'll take survival to 45. Then we've got two more points we could put somewhere, maybe into repair. Yeah, 45, 45, 50. I think trying to get those higher, the sooner the better, in my mind. Yeah. Okay, now this is where we get interesting choices. What do we want to get in terms of perks? Action Boy, Adamantium Skeleton, that's nice. Atomic. Okay, you're 25% faster and stronger whenever you're basking in the warm glow of radiation. However, your action points regenerate slower and slower the higher your levels of radiation and sickness becomes. Ah, so it would give us strength and it would make us faster. That's intriguing. Bloody messes something. You'll lose 200 points of sanity upon accepting this perk. Damn. Um, if you have seen this level up before, I suggest skipping ahead, but this is the first time that I've seen it. Uh, there might be new perks in here, so we're going to go nice and slow to make sure that we pick the right choice, and also just to give you all an idea of what perks you can expect to see in Dust. Burden to Bear. Hmm. An additional 10 pounds of gear. Stacks with strong back. I mean, that's nice. Cloud killer. Time to put those cloud victims out of their misery. Extra damage against marked men. Okay. Commando. While using a rifle, we have greater accuracy. Great. Comprehension. Double the bonuses from reading magazines. Confirmed. Bachelor. Coward. 
Okay. Finding just ain't your thing. Light armor. Hmm. Okay. All right. Entomologist. 50% extra damage each time we attack a mutated insect. Of course. Eye for an eye. For each crippled limb you have, you do an additional 10% damage. I can imagine that would be workable. Fight the power. Fuck the NCR. Hmm. Wearing that faction armor. Okay. Not exactly what we're after. Finesse. Hmm. We, we really don't have much in the way of luck, so... Probably not going to be what we're looking for. Grim Reaper's Sprint. Okay. Gunslinger is tempting. Heavyweight. They weigh half as much. Hmm. Okay. Sure. Here and now. Tempting. I think intensive training might be what we end up looking at. Just to boost our special points higher and higher. Across the board. Hunter is kind of nice. But again, critical. We don't get criticals that often. And saying that, we've got a few with that machete. Lead belly seems great. Lessons learnt. Hmm. 1% extra earned experience per level gained. Okay. Maybe better later on. Night person. Intelligence and perception. Old world gourmet. Quick draw. Rad free. Nice. Okay. I do like that there are quite a few negative and positive things to perks overall we're just going to kind of go through the rest of them here some of them I'm yeah not so sure about sound of mind ah also immune to critical hits requires good sanity don't know how long we're going to be at that so yeah we're going to stay off that for now swift learner is kind of nice Tag, being able to tag another f skill. Honestly, I think we're probably going to do that to melee weapons. And I don't know if we're going to do that now or not. Hmm. Voracious reader. And there are others that, yeah, we're just not able to get. Okay. All right. What is it going to be? I think at this stage we are going to take a tag so that we can tag an additional skill, which is going to be melee. We are using a fair amount of it after all. After that, it is going to be intensive training for the following levels. How far we'll go? We just want to try and get our other kind of core special stats up above where we have them at the moment. So let's see. Yeah, up to 41. I'm pretty happy with that. Getting lockpick up is really tempting as well because we have this room would we want to do that instead i don't think so at this stage we can slowly start to try and bring that up over time but i think right now our core focus is going to be trying to get guns and uh you know some of our other stats up to a hundred because yeah they're gonna keep us alive for now we have two more shots two more 10 millimeter shots and we'll see if uh, this is kind of paid off there is there are two people down here and i think we might have some eggs over here some larvae what do we have all right survivor old ncr armor i don't know if we can use that we're gonna pick up the old baseball bat though most certainly and let's have a look at you as well leather duster hmm We'll take that. We'll take... Oh. Pull Q Cleaver. We are going to want to try and start making some of our own weapons. Eventually. Might want to have a look and just see what we can kind of do. I will pick up the... Just for the moment. And we're going to uh, jump on into here. The Fire and Nectar is worn off. That's, that's, that's totally cool. Let's just see if we can't uh, do some repairs to our regular armor. Maintain, we cannot. Okay. Well, I guess you're just going to have to... Uh, you give us endurance, you give us guns. That's pretty cool. But yeah, we're going to be dropping you for now. Sticking with this armor, which has done a pretty good job at keeping us alive so far. Yeah. 
really, really quite good. Baseball bat, you are going to be our new number one weapon while our machete is broken. It's not bad damage. Obviously the damage from this is terrible, but yeah, <laughs> that's where we're at. Let's see if there's anything in here. Ant nectar, yes please. This one is empty and you have some ant nectar as well, fantastic. We'll take that delicious strength giving stuff. Let's have a, a look at you. Just ant meat, okay. Ant meat. More ant meat. And I was hoping for eggs. But no, no eggs for us. Well, here we are. Okay. Nothing else, no other weapons. Just want to make sure that we're not missing anything down here. No. I'm going to have a quick look at our crafting kit. Just to see uh, what the possibilities are. I honestly don't think we're going to be able to do much. Yeah, we can do some makeshift tools. Which, honestly, they're probably not going to be that bad. If we can make them, that would be great. But it does take a bit for us to be able to do a scrap metal bone saw plunger. Okay. Scrap metal and wood. A hammer is possible. And then I wonder if we could use the hammer to make, like, the the sword or the scythe. But a lawnmower blade probably is a little bit harder to come across. Yeah. Wouldn't mind some purified water. I can tell you that much. Okay. All right. Well, we're not going to end things here. I still want to try and see if we can find this other rifle. Yes, we've only got two more rounds for it. But I think that makeshift things are going to be... A little bit more common. I think that's from the blood or flames, one or the other. Do we have any more? We do have more nuka as well. Let's see. How are we looking? Oh, we're pretty thirsty. We could do with some nuka cola. And yeah, that is gonna make us more irradiated. That's that's okay though. We've accepted that. We'll allow that to start healing us. I don't think we're gonna take more than one at a time. That wouldn't be too good for us. Yeah, that's it's kind of all gone red. Interesting. And kind of frightening. You just had meat on you, didn't you? Yeah. While that's cool and all, I don't think we're going to worry about it. Oh, that nuka is doing good stuff to us. Excellent. Yeah. Okay, so I am probably going to uh, <laughs> reflect on our memories to see if I can figure out what we might have done with this other rifle. Okay, so after... Oh, dear. Oh, this is nice. Um, after reviewing the footage, I am relatively sure as to where it is, and oh boy, I'm freaking, uh, that, that's a lot to deal with, but I'm loving the atmosphere right now. Not loving that there are people here, though. That, that I'm not so happy about. Who are you? Let's have a, a proper look. More tribal folks. Well, that's great. I guess this is their territory after all. The rifle that we're after is back over this way. And we do have a few more rounds for this thing. Let's see. <laughs> yeah, we've got our three kind of makeshift ones. I'd rather not use them. Yeah, I'm loving the color because, well, this is all cloud cloud from the uh, Sierra Madre. I think if we're, if we're fast here, we're still quite far away, so I don't think they're going to be as concerned with us. At least it seems that way. Yeah. I'll tell you what, things don't seem as kind of janky out here. It's more the interiors where I see a little bit of jitteriness. So, we dropped the rifle right around here, right by their body. And you know what? <sighs> It is still here. <laughs> I was so sure it would have like despawned or disappeared or something, but look at that. So we want to repair this one with that one. So let's go repair and look at that. It didn't repair that much. <laughs> but hey, that's how we do this thing. Ah, oh, what I'd give for a workbench right now. Well, we definitely didn't discover one over there. What next for us? 
Yeah, the sky looks a lot better during the day. That sun is maybe a little too obnoxious. <laughs> But I guess it kind of makes sense. If you're going to look up towards the sun, it's going to blind you. Just just don't look up towards it. And, and you're fine, right? Yeah. We just need to keep ourselves low down towards the horizon. Which I think it means early in the morning. It's going to be a bit of a nightmare. So. I know I've been given advice to uh, head away from here. Head in the opposite direction. But I'm thinking we're quite close to something here, right? I don't know what. But there's something. There are more tribals further down that way. Whether we want to engage them or not, I, I'm not sure. So they're, th they're the two that were kind of roaming before. Yeah. I think we're going to try and see if we can achieve a little bit more in today's episode. So let's try that and see how that works out for us. And yes, I know we're in the same area that we started off in, but, you know, it's, it's just kind of how we roll sometimes. I don't want to get too close to those walls because, um... Yeah. They're intimidating, okay? We could try and see what's on the other side of this building. I thought we had someone on the ground. We've got a home. We could look into you. Oh wow, that sun. Let's just kind of check this way and see how we're looking. That intimidates me. <laughs> I'll be honest. The idea of someone sitting up there with a, a nice big rifle. Yeah. Oh, we feel hungry. Minus starvation, which drops our strength only by one, and I think we're still okay in terms of our overall, yeah, we're all right, we just can't carry too much more. Finding some proper food is definitely of uh, importance. And maybe in this old wreck of a home, we might be able to find something like that. That's if this is an enterable structure. Hmm. Nope. Oh, okay, over here. That's a dog. Let's let this play out. Did you just kill that dog? You did. That's meat. That's meat. Ooh, okay. Watch yourself there, buddy. I'm very tempted to shoot you. Yeah, you can't see us from here. Nah, there's nothing in this house at all. Oh shit! Nope, they can see us from here. Holy crap! Ah, uh, okay. Someone's throwing spears at us, I think. Or something. Yeah, keep throwing them, keep throwing them. Okay, this, this raid is nearly dead. Oh, but so are we. We we can't shoot you. I'm like that. Yeah, sure. Why can't I shoot you? Well, here we go. Guess we're doing that then. Shit. Oh, not good. I thought that was us. I thought that was us. <laughs> oh. Okay, 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 okay. We're fine. We're fine. I thought that was us. I I, I thought that was it. I should have known it wasn't our armor, but... Ah, oh boy. Um, do we still have some ammunition in this thing? I think we've got one... No, we've got no more shots. We did... We shot three times there. That's it. That That's, that's all she wrote. We've got one more, I think, of the regular stuff. Let's see. Yeah. One more of the good stuff. <sighs> let's have this makeshift rifle out for now. Actually, let's give it a number. We're going to give you number four. Uh, I've got a frag grenade. Just in case we have a rainy day. Uh, <laughs> oh boy. We, uh, we took some damage there. 
We sure did. But we did some damage as well. Um, so, those tomahawks that you were throwing at us, one of, the, one of them obviously hit us in the chest, but some of the other ones missed, and I wonder if they're recoverable or not. I don't think they are. I could be wrong. Okay, quick status check. How are we looking across the board? Okay, limb damage negligible. I don't know if we're going to recover that from sleeping. This is this is okay. We've still we've still got some HP. <laughs> so it turns out that they can see us from that kind of distance, uh, especially if they're raiders as well, and not the tribal people. The tribal folk don't seem to be as aggressive. Maybe. Oh boy, what kind of rifle is that? That is a I, maybe? What do we have? Oh, a dust musket. Hi there. Let's see what... Oh, you've got some ammunition on you, don't you? 5.56, five, okay. A few junk rounds, a butter knife. Fantastic. And a dust musket. Okay, Wasteland Settler outfit. I'm, I'm trying to remember if we could tear that apart. I'm thinking maybe we can. We're going to take it for now. We're going to go across towards you as well, friend. See what you have. More. More of this. Good. Okay. A hunter's duster. Right. A makeshift pistol. And it's for the 22 rounds. Yes, it is. A mutated skull. A side cap, which gives us extra protect, uh, perception. A, uh, what a helmet does give us. Yeah, it gives us protection, so we'll stick with that. A strange meat pie. It damages our sanity. It's got a bit in the way of rads, but yum. And a tomahawk. Okay, okay. So, first of all, let's jump into our crafting menu. Oh, dear. Ah, yes, we can. We can tear this into cloth strips. Brilliant. So we're going to go ahead and do that. Yes, thank you. We will take those cloth strips. And then with the cloth strips, we can do things like make bandages. Hell yes. Fantastic. So let's just go out and go back in. Just so that uh, things kind of reset. We have a bandage now. Wild, I know. Um, we have the strange meat pie, which we can eat. How much does it damage our sanity? We don't know. <laughs> How hungry are we right now? Oh, we're definitely in meat pie range. Let's, let's eat the strange meat pie. Fantastic. How much did that damage our sanity? We feel less hungry. Brilliant. That's that's good. Let's just check. We're still sane. Okay, that's good. Sure. Ah, oh dear. A little bit on the thirsty side. I... Hmm. Okay, we don't have any more nuka. Guess that's that. And uh, we're actually right on weight at the moment. So, let's have a look at this makeshift pistol. I like this. I like, I like that a lot. Uh, so we still got, we still got some rounds around. Let's see, what can we store you as? Let's make you five, and we'll go six for the frag grenade now. The dust musket. I'd like to keep, but it's quite heavy. So we'll see. A lot of this is going to depend on what we can find, and I think makeshift things we're going to find more often than not. The musket. I don't know about that. I'm tempted just to leave it here. We could use it once, right? We've got one one bullet for it, so why not? I guess let's let's hold on to it and see. Um, oh, that is a nightmare. Yeah, I don't... <laughs> having second thoughts about that. Yeah. Let's just have a look. So we got you. You are our other thing, and then you are our pistol. Yeah. Oh, yeah. We've got a lot of rounds for you. Um... Let's go back to the makeshift rifle, I think. See how that works out. Um, I'm tempted to pick up the duster, but I don't think that's going to help us out all that much. Musket, if I see something close by, we'll think about doing something with you. I couldn't be happy with that, though. Yeah, we're actually looking pretty okay in terms of weight. <sighs> I, was, I was so sure that... Yep, episode two. Okay, we're dead. Uh, I, yeah, I thought that was Elliot whose head went, uh, boom there. A Nuka Cola truck. How, how, how nice. How nice. 
We aren't going to push on for too much longer today. I was hoping to find a home that we might be able to uh, jump inside. However, we are not so lucky, it would seem. All these homes are rather destroyed. We want to make sure that we're not missing out on anything like safes. Anything else that could be stashed away in here? That could have survived an explosion? I think we might be following this road out of here. And you know what? That might be something we can deal with. Let's just check these other places first. And these mailboxes as well. Patriot's cookbook. Plus 10 to explosions. Is that a... It doesn't look like a magazine. I mean, it says book, right? Ah, uh, it sounded like a magazine. Damn it. Well, I guess there's that. Okay. Silverado Estates. It's a little bit easier to see. There's that sun. We can certainly find that when we want. Oh, and we got dogs over there. Yeah. Okay. There obviously was that dog over there as well that I wouldn't mind having a look at. We feel hungry. Future weapons today. Pretty sure same deal. Magazine. I mean, we'll take it because it doesn't weigh us down, so sure. Is that a dead... That's a pack freaking Brahmin. Hot freaking damn. Okay, let's just go back to our other rifle for now so we can actually look at things from a distance. Yeah, we want to make it to that dog. I also really want to make it to this Brahmin. Uh... Okay. Do I feel good about this? Not entirely. Okay. Looks like it was a burial rather than them just being shot here. God, I feel like this is a trap. Okay. Crunchy mute fruit? Oh, yes. Thank you. Scotch. Heck yes. Makes us quite thirsty. Gets rid of quite a few rads. Uh, we could go back for the other booze to try and get rid of some of our rads. Oh, there's actually someone in here. <gasps> yes. Drained small energy cell. Okay, I think we still might be able to do something with you. Maybe. Oh, ho, 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 ho. noises. Don't like them. Do you hear that whispering? That's not nice. Hi there, survivor. I'm gonna take that Brock flower. There's a few Brock flowers. And yeah, I guess we are uh, stealing from the dead here. Eulogy. Okay. Let's, uh,. Have a read of your eulogy then, huh? I just want to make sure that we uh, grab as many of these Brock flowers as we can. Well, you actually have one on your suit, it looks like. What do we have? Uh, it's going to be in data, right? Yes. Okay. Here lies Hank Jacobson Sr. He shared my name and shared my road for many a mile. He raised me to the best of his ability and taught me everything I know. More important than any of that, he gave me hope. Despite all that happened, he stayed hopeful. He was a great man. And Lord knows I miss him already. But I must carry on for his sake. I'll miss you, Dad. Well... Sorry, buddy. I feel bad taking those flowers, but hell, they can be of use to us. And I think we can even eat them just as is. Brock flowers, yeah. It'll give us food, ba food? food back, and it'll give us health as well. 
I guess also known as Hood. Yeah, we could have that now. I'm not that concerned because we seem to be okay with our current level of, uh, of weight. What about that mute fruit though? Uh, yeah, I, I don't know if we'd be able, we might be able to use some of that in recipes, so we'll, we'll hold off for that for now. I am tempted to have some scotch though. However, that's going to make us thirstier. Really, honestly, the endurance doesn't consume me as much, and I feel like it should, because obviously HP is a big deal, but I think keeping those rads down is going to be worth it as well. And obviously, good for sanity. Screw it, let's have some scotch. Yeah. Use that scotch. And finally, do we want to see if we can get close to that dog? Maybe. At the very least, we can get close to this house here, and maybe that one down the back. I feel like that might be a better place for us to leave Elliot today. How far away are we? We're not that far from Vegas yet. And I feel like there's probably at least one of these structures that we're going to be able to go inside, if it is marked on the map. Believe me, it's been such a long time since I've played New Vegas that, uh... I really do not remember at all. I have no recollection. I kind of hate it when our AP pops up like that. It makes me nervous as hell. It makes me think that any second something's gonna murderize us. We certainly can't get inside this house. so quiet. I gotta think those dogs are gonna be an issue. Oh, there's three of them. That's a lot of meat. But also, we don't have a campfire where we can kind of cook that yet, so... How useful is that gonna be? I think for now, we're gonna start to try and make our way down towards this building. watching ourselves as we do. Oh, okay. That's a bit more of a structure than I thought. We've got a mailbox to look at here, too. Ah. Huh. Alright. I guess if we need to sneak. Wonder glue. Yes, please. Thank you. Find me a proper crafting bench, please. Hoping this is something that we can actually go inside. I keep on freaking out about the snakes, but I know they're not a thing. <laughs> ah, dear. Good atmospherics. Alright, train station, here we go. And whatever this building is. Oh, okay. Looks like we might actually have an inn here. Yep, door to train station. Okay, and th is that another dead Brahmin? No, it's a bush. <laughs> and I didn't see what the name of the place was, but I'm probably going to want to find that out before we do. Let's just have a look underneath this bridge. Nothing underneath the bridge, huh? Okay. Where are we at at the moment? We're at the Silverado train station, of course. Well, let's see what Silverado has in store for us. And I'm actually okay with us having the rifle going into here. I don't know what door is going to be the best one for us. If we need to, we can quickly vat and do some shooting with this. We'll stay sneaking and we'll just be ready. Stay real quiet. I think we're okay. I think we're alone here. Let's just go slow sneak for now. Ooh, okay. Modification. I think we're good. Yep. We are alone here, people. Good, good, good. Well, let's go out for that, just in case we run into any issues while we're here. Well, let's just see what we can uh, find. What we can make do with. 
Okay, scotch is worn off. That's okay. <laughs> we can still move around just fine. Got ourselves a lunchbox. Okay, so that's the second McCallum thing we've found. All right. Oh, oh, what the hell? Yes. <gasps> Take McCallum rifle. That's that's this one here. And we've got modifications for it as well. A doctor's bag. The fission batteries are potentially useful. We've got more ammunition. Okay, I think we're over encumbered at the moment. Let's head back here. At least we don't take the damage from being over encumbered. We're just slow. Long barrel. Nothing on the radios. Pre war money. Ah, take it all. We might be able to use that in a crafting recipe. The Wonder Glue, uh, I think we're going to leave. I don't know when that's going to be useful. And right now, we could do with carrying other things. Not a bad little spot, this, though. Let's, uh, let's have a look at the weapon. So, we have the McCallum rifle. And oh boy, yeah, oh wow. Yeah, this is like a... Uh, it's some kind of... Automatic rifle. <laughs> Let's have a look at the modifications of this thing. So, silences the weapon. Nice. And increases damage. Also nice. Hot damn. Yeah, there's some good DPS. This, the, ooh, this is in good condition as well. Oh boy. Very nice. Okay, but we're running into an issue now where we are carrying too much. So, the question is, what do we drop? We have to have a melee weapon. Definitely. And, yeah. What then do we do? I like having a throwing weapon. We can maybe look at dropping some other things. We've got a doctor's bag, which is great. Definitely want to hold on to that. I think we probably want to have a look at something to eat now. Having the, uh, the mute fruit. Let's just check in on that hunger, see how we're doing. I, I know that we're going to be quite hungry. Yeah, we are definitely quite hungry. <laughs> I think we're going to run with us pretty much being hungry all the time. I think that's just going to be the uh, the standard. The standard for us, yeah. The ant nectar, that's okay. Hydra doesn't weigh anything. The drugs don't weigh anything, so we're okay there. As for our misc, well... Cloth strips, they do weigh something. That's fine. I think we might be able to do something with the cells. Soda bottles. That's nice and easy. Yeah, we'll hold on to at least one thing of the Wonder Glue for now. Yeah, and that kind of leaves us that. The uh, ammunition does have weight associated with it, but as you can see, it's really not that much. So we don't have to worry about that. It's really, it really just comes back to this. These things here, what we want to hold on to. We definitely want this pistol because it's just got to be super useful to us in the long run. The makeshift rifle is also useful. This is completely broken. I don't think we're going to be able to find something to repair that. Or if we are, it's not going to be all that great. I think using these makeshift weapons are probably going to be the standard for us going forwards. So we kind of need to look at that as being the, uh, the regular for us. However, we do need to make a sacrifice. And I think that sacrifice is going to be the makeshift rifle. 10 millimeter is going to be quite common. But I feel like... Yeah. I feel like we're going to drop this. In favor of holding on to this for now. It does use the same ammunition as our sniper rifle. So there is a bit of a conflict there. But the value and the condition of this is good I think we're going to keep it for now and hey if we really need to we can always come back look at this monstrosity <laughs> yeah it really is oh, I thought that was a oh it kind of is a way up but not at the same time so I think this is where we're going to wrap things up for today's episode in here before we try and see what's going on in this other building in the next episode. I feel like we achieved 
an all right amount in today's episode. We did some surviving, that's for sure. Some fights where Elliot was outgunned, outmatched, and somehow managed to come out on top. We might have been lucky, even though our luck is terrible statistically. All the same, we conquered the Ant Mound, and we dealt with our first raiders, throwing tomahawks at our head. And there was a moment where I thought that our man might be dead. But the Wendigo, Elliot Wood, still stands. Long may he yet. If you enjoyed today's episode, consider leaving a like or a comment to let me know if you enjoyed the show. For now, I have been Rykon. You have all been awesome. And until next time... Before we finish, I'd just like to draw attention to just how long this rifle is. Look at this thing. That's really, really long, Elliot. I don't know how you're going to fit that thing in your backpack. Good luck, I suppose. (sighs) Yes, stay tuned.